What's up guys, I thought I would do a special video for the new machine I'm building, which is gonna be used for video rendering. I'm currently doing everything on my laptop and it's gotten to the point where it's really sluggish and takes a long time to render. Let me go through the different parts that I've got and then I'll build it and we'll see how it's doing compared to the laptop. Okay, let's take a quick look at some of the main components of this machine before I actually build it. First up, we've got the CPU. This is a Core i7-6900K. It's a Broadwell E-chip, eight-way processor, should have 16 threads with hyper-threading. It's a lot. Next up, we've got the Asus X99 Pro. This thing supports up to 128 gig of RAM on it. That's insane for a desktop PC. Brings us to the memory. This is ballistic memory and it is 64 gigabyte worth of memory. We got hard drives. I got three hard drives that are part of this. The first one is the Samsung VNAND SSD 950 Pro M.2. And then we've got a regular just one terabyte solid state drive, the 850 Evo Samsung drive. The other hard drive I've got is just a four terabyte spinning media disc just used for archive and storage. And we've got the video card. This is a GeForce 970. This is the gaming 4G from MSI. So hopefully that'll help me crank out the video rendering faster. All right. So those are the main pieces of the machine. I've also got a 850 watt power supply, which is probably more than I need, but that's what I've got. And then the case that I've got is a Noctis 450. So I'll show you that once it's built. And then I've already got monitors and stuff. So I don't need any of the, there's no extra peripherals that are new. I'm just gonna reuse what I've got. All right, let's put it together. Okay, we've got everything up and running and the machine's installed. So what you're looking at here is the output of when I rendered the file on my laptop and it took 27 minutes and 38 seconds. That was a long time. So if we go look at, we'll go and run this same item over on the new machine and we'll just go run it again. So it is rendering now. This went by substantially faster, but the other thing that was interesting was if we come look at the CPU, when it starts going through, it's gonna kick up to 100% CPU on 16 logical processors with eight physical cores. And the other thing on the memory side, you'll see would creep up around 23 gig of memory used. When I first did this, I actually saw it up at 31 gig of memory use, so I was happy that I had the 64 gig in there. So now we're at 100% CPU, it is cranking away. And when I ran this before, this took about close to eight minutes to actually render the same file that it took 27, 28 minutes to do on the laptop, so definite improvement. So, and you can see here that the render time took 7 minutes and 52 seconds on the second run. That is awesome.